Well, I hope. Due to the blessing and intercession of Muhammad and his family, this very auspicious whose last days are about to be finished with the majority of this one may Allah accept your prayers requests and may Allah accept all the prayers from all believers everywhere. We in Islam and this is called Shahadatayn, or let's, what we call it testifying. Testify under the name of Muhammad. Well, this very hard of can be completed with the pure family, as if someone says, I believe Quran and I do not believe the Prophet. This is my nonsense. It is not useful at all. It's just like a corpse without soul. A human being having a soul is capable of watching, hearing, Capable of touching, hard words, all his body organs work, his brain, without his soul, it's nothing but a country. Corpse. Though it has it has heart, but without a soul, they are all meaningless. It does not have any impact at all. The one who believes in Quran does not believe in Prophet. This is like a horse without a soul. Prophet Muhammad said, If anyone believes in me and does not believe in my family, he doesn't believe in me as well. It is three things Quran, Prophet, and the family. And the 13 infallible. But Simon is both infallible among And they're not separable. Prophet Muhammad, in this very auspicious tradition of already noted, there have been written tens of books consisting of successive tradition quoted from Prophet Quran and the family and Ahlul Bayt. Considering these two, 
they're not separable, first of all. They should believe both at the same time. And the one who believes in the both is, can't be called a true Muslim. He cannot, is not allowed to accept one and reject the other. The one who believes in one only cannot be called a true Muslim, and this is not a real Islam. What Allah Almighty has appointed from the Prophet Muhammad up to the last time in the resurrection of Quran, Nahlul Bek. Prophet you have to resort to my family in Arabic. We have two separable terminology. Once we can be drowning in the mind, we around us. We somehow hang in there. In Arabic language, it's called Tashabba. It means to grab something. Which is quite not useless. But the other case, grab a very firm tree, and you might be survived. And this is called Tamasuk in our language. Quran, all the Prophet, in this very same tradition, consisting of successful tradition, that you have to resort to me and my family in Quran. The one who just grabs the firmly Quran and the family of Prophet who called the real Islam and the real Muslim. He could be prosperous both in the world and hereafter. If it lives in one and brings the other, we cannot call the real Islam. All the Quran stands. The true infidels are those Infidels are not those who will clearly reject the Quran. Infidels are those who just simply accept some of the verses and reject the others haphazardly. The Quran says the true infidels are those who discriminate the believe in Quran. As you know, Quran is the unity. Prophet and his family is called the United Thing. Both can be considered as a unity. Whatever is put in this framework can be prosperous both for the world and hereafter. All the other things given discrimination cannot be cannot have a prosperous out, outcome in the world and hereafter. <coughs> no, no, neither prophet nor Quran does such thing. It couldn't be prosperous in world or here. Therefore, those were deviated from the path of Ahlul Bayt, both who just pretending to be the Ahlul Bayt followers, or those who were from the beginning tried to reject Ahlul Bayt. We might see that. They're suffering from miserable problems. They're suffering from illogical issues. Well, I, from here, really suggest the dear ladies, particularly you, both here and wherever they are, 
either in this very auspicious of Ramadan or in the other month as well. It is also the man's duty as well. Men, particularly the youth and the teenagers, I seriously recommend them to try as the month of peace upon him said, try to acquire knowledge yourself. Do not deeply believe whatever you hear. It is not recommended. You are not allowed to simply believe whatever you hear about Ahl al Especially when Allah has not said that. You have to research who are responsible Holy Quran said, Every single year late here, Muslims, particular men, especially to Egypt and youth, are responsible for their resurrection day. For what they have interpreted of what they heard in the world, they must be responsible for it. So I invite and I recommend every Muslim to study and Every part which is not quite clear, you have to search upon it. Well, let me just do two or three cases here among hundreds of cases. It was for Debian and from Ahmed Bait. We'll let the astray pass. So what? from experts, his book has published. He, in his book, as an Islamic book, he, as an Islamic expert, said of this very issue, he says, Allah Almighty, has created some kinds of species and animals, one for traveling and commuting, it could be a horse or a camel or the mammals, quite common among people for their commuting, this could be the first kind, the second kind would be is for providing the food, like the cow, he has created these kinds of animals to And the third part would be they are ladies, they are just like for men, somehow they are animals in this kind of men as a slum expert and book has been published <coughs> and which has been taught in some scientific seminar. Ladies, which one has taught about them sexually, Ladies are quite similar to you and created from you. They're equal. There's no difference between you 
all at once as considering the status that Allah has upon us for ladies in many verses of the Quran when he he interprets to that a lady can be just like an animal. But he in this form of human being. What kind of logic is that? What kind of interpretation is that? When the distance work is a statement, when his deviator from a faith, they will be led to this great task. And another case is, I seriously recommend you to search upon the book, Al-Bahru Zakhbar. It is a boiling sheet. <coughs> what I'm trying to say has been uh, extracted from this book. He has talked about some holy souls who have been separated from the faith. When she married, even if a girl is living in the east and the boy is living in the west and they have not met each other yet, as soon as they get married, if, he, if she gives birth to itself, the child belongs to the next, even if they have they have yet. This is called Sumam, Astrid from Ahmad Bey. What is trying to do? He's just trying to pave the way for corruption under the name of Islam. Being deviated from Ahmad Bey caused a problem. One another case, a couple of years ago, in uh, Islamic country, in an Arab country as well, it took a year of uh, a struggle, a youth traveled somewhere else to study, to study medicine. Later on, his family called him. They have selected a girl for him. She accepted. They just talked on the phone. They both get married. After a year, he was told that her wife was given birth to a child. And his uh, faith told him that this child belongs to you. There has been a struggle. He started criticizing by sending letters. And he started a very famous movement as well. Defending this very lady. And since he was studying medicine, he came up with a conclusion that it could be quite nonsense and illogical. They have written some articles, like uh, a of it. You see, daily things happen with all such problems. This is true in the book of corruption. In that very sick book, Mary said, from some experts who call themselves the mom, that 
بارداری یک خانم نه نه ماهه بلکه نه ساله یعنی اگر یک شخص یه شد در بیت در پرکتر سکر این از نه ناین کنون از رادر ناین یعنی چی اسمش هم اینه که دنبال قرآن هستن این رو یکی هم چیلی این And they just call it all the folks Nothing but baiting the corruption under a mother's law in the Islamic world. And it is scientifically speaking, is it impossible? Is it impossible to have a baby in his stomach for nine years and later on just to keep the child to the husband? And now people are just following this virgin. But also some other cases as well. This is considered who's responsible for this? Everyone. Men? Youth and teenagers will have more free time for searching back, studying science. Believing what they hear, they, ju- they just, just search the Quran and Ahlul Bayt. These three are complementary. They're not separable. We should believe three of them. We should believe in Quran, Prophet, and it's the Ahlul Bayt. Within this framework, they should follow Islam, the primitive of Islam. And otherwise, they should all the views are back and it's a problem. So they say they should search and they should become others search for her. This is advising others, guiding others. And it is considered to be a public responsibility, we must make a decision, men and women, to try to, to save the Islamic world from the problem. Every one of us is responsible for this. And even if they can, they have the chance to save the Islamic world. And their problems they're suffering. All the Quran says they should defend Muslims, non-Muslims, and poor people. Poor people are those who do not have any idea of the straight path and the path which leads to the prosperity. All the Quran said considering the accuracy of Arabic language it's just a similar to Qul Huwa Allah it's considered to be a pronoun and it is interpreted as این هوا را برداریم بگیم قل الله احد معنیش اینه considering this for now اما دلالت بر خاص را نداره this verse این هوا که میاد اینجا میشه قل هوا الله احد یعنی تنها خدا considering this for that this verse it means that only Allah is one and all things all the Quran is forbidding 
And it, he also said that those who encourage people for doing good deeds are unique and prosperous, and the others are not. The one who says prayer, fast, and do not encourage people for doing good deeds. They're not prosperous. They're not real prosperous. Those who require people for doing good deeds and forbidding together from doing bad deeds are prosperous. So, in every step, every level, consider a lady. If her husband is that member, who's responsible for saving her? Every one of us is responsible. How shall we save her? By hold up and jot. And we gradually might save her. Consider a man whose wife is that member. Who's responsible of changing the bad, changing the lady into a good member? Every one of us. This is called called Quran and Atrat. Ahmad Bey. This word into Quran and Ahmad Bey is considered a significant issue here. Well, the issue of divorce, unfortunately, it has been raised up in Islamic countries, unfortunately. It is quite more than the non Islamic countries. Who is responsible for this? Every one of us is responsible. Everyone, up to his You see, nowadays, ladies simply ask for divorce. If they just find themselves in some simple trouble. I have seen some statistics written in some magazines that in one uh, Islamic country, out of, e- out of every four marriages, one makes the divorce. What kind of logic is that? Is this? Why do we see such disaster? In another mass media, I've heard that every hour, divorces are being made. Book of Allah and Ahmad Bey and Prophet are considered to be the criteria. We have to make an effort both regarding the beliefs, what issues, or a project to save the world from such a disaster and everyone is capable of saving the world. Everyone is considered to be a spirit. And he, uh, as his own capability, he is able to speak well. Today, what we are seeing, some issues happen, things happen under the name of Islam. Some common people without any research, without any wisdom, try to heal people under the name of Islam. We don't have such a thing in Islam. This is not the Islam made by Ahlul Bayt. If you just take a look upon history, you would find nothing 
It is nothing but a lie. If you consider, review the history of Ahlul they haven't killed anyone without well, of course, the Mavia, their generation as well, the massacre we have in Afghanistan, Pakistan, well, generally, this auspicious month of Ramadan, we have to make a decision, both ladies and men, particularly our youth, to fulfill our responsibility. We should not simply get in trouble without knowledge and we should restrain others, prevent others from being put to trouble. I'm talking about the corrupted beliefs believes that consider lady similar to anyone nothing but a great for Muslims. The one under the name of Islam writes something and who is responsible of preventing this. This is, this has not been the tradition of Prophet. I'm not talking about physical prevention. It is quite broad. We have to scientifically prevent such a thing. Well, I hope Allah Almighty bless us with the chance of studying Quran and interpreting Prophet and his Ahlul Bayt. May Allah give us the opportunity to study and recommend others to study as well. So we might be resurrected. May Allah bless Muhammad and his household.